Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and we are continuing our video series on the 2023 external exams in Queensland, Australia by looking at some general maths questions, multiple choice on time series. Let's get straight into it. This was question two in the exam. A time series plot is shown. We can see there's time on the x-axis and on the y-axis we've got profit and we're best asked to describe it. So cyclical, what we would expect for cyclical is that over a number of years we'd see a pattern repeating. We're not seeing that at all, we can rule out cyclical. Seasonal, we'd expect a repetition every year within the same year. We're not seeing that at all, there's just definitely no pattern to this. Um, it's also not an increasing pattern, um, as you can see over time. Um, if I had to draw a line through the middle of this, which would be very difficult, there really is not a lot of increasing pattern or decreasing pattern that we can see. Um, I would say it's C, irregular. Okay, question 10. Annual sales data and related quarterly indices are shown. The quarterly indices were calculated by applying the average percentage method using the mean. Um, determine the values for X and Y. So we've got a missing sales value in here and a missing index for quarter three. Being able to solve this question means that you need to be able to understand where the sales indexes have come from and what they actually mean, this row here. Now, what they're telling us here with this average percentage method using the mean is that what they've done is they've added these four numbers up and divided by four, that gives us an average, and then they've taken the average and each one of these numbers, they've divided it by the average. Now, that gives us our indices. If you need to know more about this, then I would suggest jumping into my playlist on time series on how to discover and calculate seasonal indices. That will enlighten you a lot more. But I'm assuming you know a little bit about that, so let's jump in. When we've got an index of one, what that tells us is that that original um, mean for all these four numbers added together the mean um, was 160 the average was 160 so at, because 160 divided by 160 gives us one so therefore this index of one tells us that this quarter one sales were the average sales for the four quarters now knowing that gives us the ability then to use the indices here to work out the sales value or to use the sales here to work out the um, index so it becomes our point of reference for all four quarters so what we're going to do firstly is we're going to recognize that to get quarter two then it's 95 percent of the value of 160 that's what this 0.95 means and over here 200 is 125 percent of this original value or 25 percent more we can work that out a quarter of 160 is 40 add that on we get 200 so it's 125 percent greater than 160. so as you can see these indices help us work out these missing values so let's do the calculations for that now okay so firstly um, here what we're seeing here is that this is 0.95 or 95% of the value of 160. So we're going to multiply 160 by 0.95. We're going to get the value of 152. So that means we can actually rule out A and B now because they say 122. Um, so that means these are 152. Okay, C or D. So they're gone. Okay, our next one here is we're going to be looking at quarter three. Now with quarter three, remember what we did here, we took this number and divided it by 0.95. Now this time here, we need to work out what fraction this number here is of this number there. So we're going to do 128 divided by 160. That gives us 0 0.8. It's 80% of that original value, which means that C is our only possible answer. Well, did you find this video helpful? We sure hope so. If you did, there are some different ways you can engage further. Firstly, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next video in this series is coming out. Why not tell someone about this video? If you're a teacher, you could share it with your class, pop it on your class OneNote. Um, or if you're a student, why not tell a friend or a family member that this video has helped you? You could also tell us in the comments. We really appreciate hearing from you. You can follow us on social media, Facebook or Instagram. And there's this new feature on YouTube as well called Super Like, where you can give back financially a little bit towards the channel to thank us for the help that we've given you. 
Well, if you've got any questions, the best place to ask those questions is mcclatchymassayahoo.com. Sometimes it's hard to answer complex questions in the comments, but when it's on an email, I can give a much better answer for you. So if you find anything like that that you need some clarification on, give us a shout. I would also recommend going back and having a look at our time series playlist. Our time series playlist does cover in great detail how indices are developed out of different sales figures or other figures and that's a more detailed way to develop your understanding there. Don't forget to jump onto our partner's website, exam-insights.com. This is your one-stop shop for all of the 2023 and previous year's exams and exam solutions. It's a wonderful free resource for students and teachers. Well, thank you so much for watching today. Really appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day.